In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an overhead camera rig out of a single microphone boom arm and one other piece of gear. I've been wanting an overhead camera rig for a while because I'll oftentimes film a video and then I'll have to go record all the B-roll and I can make videos faster or use multiple angles on a live stream if I have a nice overhead camera rig so I can hold stuff out and you can see what it is. So let me show you a quick example of what the setup is I have here. I'm also going to record on my phone, the C100 back there for another angle. But what we have is I have a RX100 Mark IV here hooked up to a boom stand for podcasting. And then I'm using another one. I have one from Rode, one from Heil that has my shotgun mic here on it. And then I'm using the RX10 Mark IV from Sony to get the talking head portion here. But one thing that's cool with Sony cameras, which helps with this setup, is being able to use their Play Memories app to enable you to see what is on the back of the camera. You can even change some of the settings here as well. So I have an older iPad here that has the footage from the RX10 Mark III. And then I have this old iPhone that I don't use anymore for the overhead camera rig from the RX100 Mark IV. So that's rolling now. And so now this camera angle here, kind of hard to see because I'm right in front of a window, but you can see that this camera angle now has an overhead shot. So now that that is recording, now that that is recording, I'm gonna stop my phone there. I'm gonna show you how I could be talking about an object like this, whatever, whatever you make YouTube videos about. You could be holding something physical, and then you could put it up under your camera that's the overhead rig and talk about it. You could talk about the different features of whatever it is. You can move it around if you wanted. And what's nice is I have little monitors to see, okay, what is this camera doing? This one has a built-in flip screen. So, you know, if I didn't want to hook up the Wi-Fi to the camera or I had a Canon G7X or something like that, you could still use the flip back screen. But what's cool about this is that I can quickly show stuff in detail to the camera and these little point and shoots like the RX100 Mark IV or the G7X, they can focus fairly close. So you can see I can get right in here with the camera, show you what I'm looking at, and then I can come back to this camera. It should pick me back up in autofocus and keep going. So I'm gonna play around with this setup a little bit. The exact equipment of what I'm using are, you know, just a shotgun boom arm, Rode makes one, Heil makes one. They're different brands as well. I'll put links in the description below this video. And then the other piece is taking a mic stand mount to a regular tripod adapter mount. And that's what I'm using right here to actually connect my camera to this mic stand. And this enables me to move it all around. So if I wanted to get down really close to the keyboard, I could just, you know, bend this down here, then I'm really close to the tabletop, and I could just show something that's laying on the table, then I wouldn't necessarily have to hold it. You can see I can get it right in the shot there, and I could talk about it and point to it and things like that. So this is a really cool way to get an overhead camera rig, and then you know I could also zoom or what have you using the app, using the camera, because it's right here within reach just gives you a lot of different options. So it's the Rode or Heil, you know, boom arm for a microphone that you might have already if you're podcasting and you have a mic like this. And then the other thing would be this little adapter to go from a standard thread for a microphone down to a tripod thread. And then this little tiny little adapter here, let me, uh, See if I can hold it up to this camera and get real close. Uh, there we go. This little thread adapter here is also helpful because it'll go from a larger size down to a smaller size and vice versa. So if you have one of these boom arms and the thread on it, like on the road arm, the thread is small, but this adapter is needing a bigger thread for microphones. So you might need to get one of these little guys too, but that should be the extent of what you need to get an overhead rig right on your desk 
to film what you're trying to film. So you can clamp these to to a to a coffee table if you wanted. You could clamp them to a tabletop that you use for something else, a dining table, a kitchen table, kitchen counter, even desk, what have you. So it's kind of versatile to just get an arm like this. Now you're not going to get a lot of distance out of these. You know, it's going to be pretty confined what you can do. But to me, this is much better than having to build something out of PVC pipe, two by fours. I have friends that have built stuff like that and they're definitely legit, but I wanted something that I didn't have to leave out all the time that was ugly, something I could just clamp to the edge of my desk, put the camera on, move the arm over, film a video, and then move it out of the way so it's not there all the time. So hopefully you got a little bit of an idea of how you can get an overhead camera rig using just something like a podcasting or radio microphone boom arm and one of these little tiny adapters. Maybe this will encourage you to do some of these more detailed videos when you're showing something physical instead of having to hold it up to the camera you're talking to, having another angle just with another less expensive, I wouldn't say cheap, less expensive little point and shoot camera. You could even mount an iPhone up there, Android, whatever just to have another angle that you could use while you're recording. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know we're coming up on 10,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. Pretty stoked about that. We have passed 1 million views so far. So subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more about how to make better videos, grow an audience making videos, sharing videos with people, or eventually you know making a living from making videos for yourself or other people down the road. So. DIY Video Guy, I've been Caleb Logic. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.